I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Because he's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Alright, so we ran into some crazy old coot running an orphanage off in the middle of a swamp. At the end of this trail of treats, the sort of Hansel and Gretel type situation where people lead their children down the trail of treats, either as a way of being rid of them, or it's where war orphans tend to end up. Now we get there, and it's, it's kind of weird. I mean, this woman seems to be kind of protective of these kids, but is also treating another kid like he doesn't exist. Some Johnny. So we got to go wander off into the swamp to find Johnny. But geez, there are freaking monsters everywhere. Now given the... It's just a gameplay thing though. The fact that there are monsters everywhere is really just gameplay. Because if there were this many drowners and griffins and, and wolves and bears and everything wandering around in this area, or the entire map really, not a damn person would be surviving this. So just because there are a bunch of monsters out here doesn't mean that we should really take that into consideration as to uh, how dangerous living in this world really is. As is the typical searching assignment, we have to go and follow these tracks. He's in here, but I can't trigger it for some reason. Johnny? Don't be afraid. You're a bucka? A Luton? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? You know the kids from the clearing well? Don't be afraid. Not gonna hurt anyone. This where you live? Cozy Burrow. Good location. Must know about everything that happens in the bog. Doesn't bother you having monsters for neighbors? What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess. I don't know what a godling is supposed to be, but he's clearly some non-human individual. Um, Geralt took a little bit to figure out what he was, too, so he's probably pretty rare. In fact, you know what? In fact, he even said that there aren't many of them left around anymore. The impression I get from... Not necessarily from the gameplay, because of course, as I said, there are monsters everywhere. But from the story in general, is that you're sort of in a world full of monsters, but the numbers of monsters are kind of dwindling. Witchers have been running around killing these damn things for so long, and other people have been killing these things for so long, that you're kind of eliminating all of the non-human individuals, uh, monsters. This goes along for the, like, the sentient beings, too. The human, not the humans, but, like, dwarves and elves and all that kind of stuff. Everybody that's not a human seems to be under some sort of persecution or being exterminated slowly. 
Now, for the monsters, I mean, I guess you could think of them as just being wildlife, even... So, if they're wildlife, then it's just sort of exterminating species. But I think most of the monsters in this series are, like, magically created and therefore unnatural. This the place? Let me look around. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Guess I gotta make this climb. There's a harpy nest up there, and there's some kind of a dragon. So we gotta get up there, and we gotta friggin... I, I don't know how the hell somebody loses their voice. I guess there's a lot of stuff in folklore about a voice being captured and stored in a bottle. And most of the, uh, most of the stories and stuff in this game series seem to be based on ancient folklore and that kind of stuff. I mean, look at the Trail of Treats, stuff like that. So I guess they, that's where that comes from, but I'm not sure if we ever even find out who took Johnny's voice or why. It's funny to note that we've actually left the swamp. We're not in the swamp anymore when we're fighting this thing, or these things. So, it's... <laughs> The swamp actually does occupy a pretty big section on the map, but as with, as is with everything in this game, you can find your way to the other side of it pretty quickly. Crossbow is pretty useful for taking down flying creatures, especially since it's got kind of an auto-aim thing as long as you let it. That was a wyvern, I guess. Oh, got something else, too. Nice. Yep, run down the hill, back into the swamp. Here. Whiskey! Slither! Ringworm! Rubbish! Bumblebee! Flabbergasted! Ha! The sound of it! Peter Piper pick Prince Proximo a pack of pickle peppers by the Pontar. <laughs> Done celebrating. My favorite words. Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? How do you lose your voice? One morning I awoke and opened my mouth for my usual bout of singing with the thrushes. Lo and behold, no sound escaped. I tried and tried, almost burst a blood vessel. Then I went to the village, because word has it the new cunning woman works miracles. But people began crying out. A smudger! A smudger! And sick their dogs on me! Do I look like a smudger to you? Not a bit. Well, I thought not. So it must be the crones doing. Who else would curse me? Blackbird friend of mine located my voice, but I was helpless to retrieve it. Couldn't ask a raven friend to just give you the bottle? Ravens serve the crones. They don't help no one. How do you lock someone's voice in a bottle? Just wondering. As am I, especially as mine's a voice to crown all voices. Sometimes it's like a forest brook, at others like a roll of thunder. And let's be honest, I talk enough to fill three barrels or more. Somebody used some powerful magic on you, as a prank or just to be mean. I'm looking for a young ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. As soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels, my favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise, downright glorious. Suddenly, heard a bang, so loud it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared, out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired, just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's huts, quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, 
so I don't think she heard me. What do you know about the crones? They're as old as this forest. Cruel. Vindictive. Not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice. Might take his life. Depends on their whim. They're nasty. Although, they care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly, they always keep their word. But you must be careful what you ask for. Won't find them until they want to be found. See them until they want to be seen. But remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. I've been to the village in the swamp, met a woman who might have been a crone. Did she seem confused to you? Nuts, completely. Oof, so I'm not crazy. That's no crone. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. Me. An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived here my whole life, and I heartily recommend it. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something, or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me, and I'm no bore. Come with me. All right, I took a minute to look it up while the conversation was playing out. And the godling is a classified as a relic. Is an is a kind of childlike species of of. Well, I don't want to call them monsters because he's clearly an intelligent thing, but it's sort of like a guardian creature which watches over people. Normally, they live outside of towns and stuff and have some limited level of interactions with people. But I don't know why he, uh, by Geralt says there aren't many of them left. It does say something about them leaving an area in the event that the population grows too high or the people there are rude or something like that. So it's possible that they just simply left this area because uh, the population increased or the war or something like that. So they're just not hanging around anymore. Uh, it's also possible, I guess, that the ever-encroaching civilization into the wilderness has destroyed their destroyed their habitats, so they're just not anywhere for them to live anymore, so they're either being pushed out of the area or they're being killed when people, like, dig up their holes or some shit. One thing's for sure, though. Johnny is a an irritating little fucker. Jeez. No wonder Gran and one of them kicked out. I guess, though, they do seem to be attracted to, like, children and stuff. And there's a lot of children in the orphanage, so it's probably why he interacts with them a lot. Follow, you little fucker. I'm supposed to be following you, but you fucking stop. It's clear. Not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Little Johnny softly gazing, fire waning pale. Pop! A spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I am a tale. You... you got your voice back. I did, though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. The woman I asked about earlier. Forgive me, Gran. But this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No. She's not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. 
didn't even fuss about my stolen boys. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well, since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we will be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen-haired maid.